describe the electrons defined by the following quantum numbers say r this is a b c d e for a what is n 3 so the electron is present in which energy level it is present in the third energy level 0 l is 0 for s orbital so the electron is present in 3s sub shell and which orbital it is there how many orbitals are there in s sub shell one that is zero only so it is the electron belongs to 3s sub shell now let's take up the b1 that is n is equal to 2 L is equal to one and m is equal to one. So where is the electron present? In the second energy level. In which sub shell it is present? It is present in the p sub shell. And in which orbital it is present? Now for l is equal to one, m can have values two l plus one. so it would be 2 plus 1 that is 3 and this comes out to be minus 1 0 and plus 1 right so it can be present either in x or y or z okay so we can take it as z right so z it is taken as 0 so i'll take it either as x or y because it is the plus sign so i'll take it as y so it is 2p y right so students there is no on a fixed assignment that is if it is it is not fixed that which is minus so the px is minus or py is minus right now our c is what is our next question over here it is n is equal to 4 L is equal to two, and m is equal to one. Now, when n is four, so to which energy level it is present? The electron is present in which energy level? It is present in the fourth energy level. L is two, so L is two for d sub shell. and it is present in which orbital for l is equal to 2 how many orbitals are there or what are the m values m will have how many values your m is equal to 2l plus 1 so it will have 2 into 2 plus 1 and it will be having five values so it is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and plus 2 right so it can be we write it normally as dxy dyz dxz dx square y square and dz square so students it is not actually fix that which orbital of d is assigned minus 1 or plus 1 or plus 2 so don't go into that right now what will be the uh, for c it would be 4d that's it your job is done now now for the next one that is the d what is given there that is it is n is equal to 3 l is equal to 3 and m is equal to 2 just tell me is this set of quantum number feasible is it possible n is 3 and l is also 3 whereas l has n minus 1 values so it is not specifying any electron got my point that is l has how many values l has n minus 1 values so here your l is equal to 
that is it is not specifying any of the electron our next is n is equal to 3 l is equal to 1 and m is equal to 2 is it the correct explanation or is it the right thing for l is equal to 1 m can have how many values m can have three values minus 1 0 1 plus 1 so this is also not defining any of the electrons right so this is the way how we solve the questions related to quantum numbers it is it is simple maths it is very simple 